Why is BM Hunter so good? Is it the damage that it's doing making other people feel like fools? Is it the ease of playstyle that makes it so convenient to handle? What about its utility and group buffs? Well, all of them and more make BM Hunter a literal rock star right now. So let me tell you why it's currently dominating. The main reason and for some people, the only thing that matters is the damage output of the spec. It's no surprise to anyone who has played it or played with the Beast Mastery in their team that the spec is crushing it right now. No matter what the content is, the damage is top tier if not actually number one. You can see right now on the screen a rough, and I say rough, representation of its performance across content. Of course, its overall output won't stay the same throughout the patch, but nobody's will. And to be fair, even with the latest nerf, which wasn't really a nerf, but rather addressed at a bug that was buffing the spec more than it should, Beast Mastery is still pushing really big numbers. It essentially did this every patch of the expansion and was nerfed multiple times and yet here we are once again marveling at its awesome performance. A big plus this patch is the new cooldown that was buffed Call of the Wild. I say new even though it has been in the talent tree since the talents were reworked because it was just not used. No matter how you spawn the spec's best builds, Call of the Wild never made the cut there. Now it has changed. Not only do you get another button on the meme spec of two button pushers, but the effect is actually cool and thematic for Beastmasters, summoning more pets that do more damage until your entire stable is wailing on the boss or mobs or whoever the poor soul is. The ability has two cool capstones that are both viable depending on your content and tier set. Yeah, the tier set influences it quite a bit. If you're not already maining this spec, working on your Amir Drizzle set, you probably either have the last tier set or likely able to catalyze some items from it. The previous set is currently cranking on Beast Mastery. I am still using it as I am playing the spec at around 432 eye level and doing way more damage than I was doing last patch. The new set and playing in the new raid will let me use more of the new talent builds, which I believe there's about four to six to choose from, mostly the same. The key differences, however, do impact your performance and give you a bit of variety, which is more than the spec has had in the last couple of years. So damage, check. Variety in builds, check. What else is there? Oh, our Patreon page segue extravaganza. <laughs> These style of videos are something we want to do more of, and it helps a great deal to have the support of Patreons to make them happen. Check our page down below. And if you do decide to hop on board the Marcellian Online team, you will also get access to some cool stuff like custom wallpapers, bloopers and early access videos and if anything you will just end up supporting the team and making more dope videos in the future. And if you haven't played BM lately for whatever reason, let me tell you why you should do it now. The spec is a simple one, you heard it before and to that I say so what? It has been my guilty pleasure for years, even if I usually main stuff that's more challenging to me. Yet, still, simple isn't bad. And in this case, simple is amazing. Beast Mastery is just a simple spec, made really, really good, and not just another boring gameplay to get engaged in. In terms of what you do to make it do damage, you want to still maintain your frenzy stacks at 3 and constantly refresh them. Some of the time, you'll be playing the Thrill of the Hunt as well, which is a second buff that stacks 3 times like Frenzy does, and it's enabled by the same spell as Frenzy. So normally, if you work to make one stay up as much as possible, you have the second as a default. It's simple, just barb shot to refresh the buff before it drops. Keeping all three stacks up not only gives you proper influx of focus, makes your pet do more damage, makes the target take more bleed damage, but it also adds critical strike chance giving your abilities more crits. And on top of that, you have many talents that work towards giving you either more barb shots to cast or making barb shots reduce the cooldown of your kill command and bestial wrath. And bestial wrath gives you one or two barb shot charges when casted with sense of blood talented. With some of the builds, you will have so many kill commands and barb shots suppressed, you won't know what to do with all of them. That's the part of the spec that will keep you engaged and reacting to simple procs and simple spells without needing a degree. And with the current playstyle of this patch, your gameplay will revolve around summoning dire beasts, which are passive beasts that just gnaw on your enemies. Talents and the new tier set summon more beasts as you just play. And your talent and still the tier set buff those beasts to give you even more damage output. Depending on your build, you can play with these effects for different gains, whether it is to deal giga boss damage and be a metaphorical beast in the raid, or cleave 
packs of mobs till tomorrow in Mythic Plus Dungeons. And in raids, you can play with a total of 5 DPS cooldowns for burst damage and variety. Bloodshed, Death Chakram, Dire Beast, Call of the Wild and of course Bestial Wrath are more cooldowns than most DPS specs have nowadays, maybe even the most second to only Unholy Decay. Damage isn't everything and Beast Mastery provides an extensive utility kit that will make you a good addition to your group, just in case you were wondering if there is a good reason to be invited of course. Hunter's Mark has been changed now to provide 5% extra damage to a target above 80% health from all of the players hitting it. This basically gives everyone in your raid an effective 1% extra damage per person per boss. It might not sound like much, but remember that the beginning of most boss fights everyone uses their big cooldowns, likely Bloodlust as well, and that 1% is multiplied on top of everything else. You can also use your Sentinel Owl to give your party 5% leech, but that's just icing on the cake. Although your survivability still sucks, you have an actual immunity in Aspect of the Turtle that lets you do certain mechanics that only a handful of other classes can do. And you can do all of this easier than any of them since the nature of your spec has you able to do your entire rotation while also moving. This is probably the biggest difference between Beast Mastery and literally any other of the 38 specs left in the game. The amount of freedom and accessibility this gives you is unique and let me be honest, feels really good to laugh at all of those casters crying because they had to interrupt their spells to dodge the fire. Lol. Play a superior spec, fools. On top of that, you have so much crowd control. Usually something you take advantage of in dungeons more so than in raids since bosses are immune to CC. But I believe your talents give you access to all forms of crowd control in the game. Not all at once, of course. But I would be surprised if there's more than one that cannot be found in your spellbook and talent tree. The only mechanic missing from your class is a battle res. The extensive utility kit gives you access to an incredible amount of competence when it comes to playing the mechanics and affixes of a Mythic Plus dungeon. A lot of people belittle this spec for being the easiest in the game, but I am yet to see to this day that same person able to actually play a Beast Mastery with its entire utility kit, which is larger than some other specs entire button rotation. I think you legit have a way to deal with any mechanic in a dungeon that someone would expect a regular DPS spec to be able to do. Interrupt, Silence, Stun, Slow, Root, Knockback, Fear, Incapacitate, Disorient, Days, Enrage, Dispel, Magic Dispel, Threat Redirect, although a bit weaker than the other specs that can redirect it. You can stealth through packs of mobs and feign death to lose aggro and leave combat. You can disengage over cliffs and to prevent fall damage when needed, reveal stealth enemies or prevent them from stealthing. And that's only the ones you have access by being a hunter. Pets provide a plethora of other effects that will make your party and especially healers love you. You can heal yourself and other people with spirit beasts. You can reduce the amount of healing an enemy receives, walk on water, slow fall, dispel personal magic, poison and disease effects, remove movement impairing effects and bloodlust. There are likely one or two I forgot cause goddamn just look at this list and this isn't even everything your pets can do. How can anyone look at all of the stuff that a beast mastery hunter can do and ever consider it bad or subpar in any way. After all of this, let me tell you why this spec is so good for all the types of players out there. If you are a beginner to the spec or to DPS or even to the game, Beast Mastery should be the first spec you consider. It's obviously easy to pick up, as I mentioned before, and it will be a good introduction to the role of a damage dealer while also giving you the breathing room to learn about raiding and doing dungeons. If you are a casual player, BM will give you the tools to do anything in the game you want, whether it is group play or solo content. BM is the easiest class to farm content with, whether it is professions, mounts, transmogs, reputations, you can solo pretty much everything in the game. If you decide to do raids or dungeons on the more chill side, BM requires minimal investment of your time and energy to give you a decent performance in those areas. For advanced players, playing a spec like BM that's easy to perform with will give you the extra freedom to engage with its vast utility kit and actually carry your friends and party through content by making up for their lack of experience, awareness or simple access to crown control dispels and so on. Hardcore players are not forgotten and as you may already know, the DPS output of the 
spec is among the greatest in all of the content. The group utility you bring will help you be a positive asset for your party and raid, and if you are worried the spec will be nerfed into irrelevancy, remember that this is probably the most popular spec in the game. And Blizzard has a tendency to take care of the most played specs in the game more so than any other, with increased priority also. At no point throughout Dragonflight was BM ever bad or subpar after any of the nerfs that it received. Just <laughs> look at Barksmanship, lol. <laughs> And once you do decide to pick up BM Hunter in 10.2, you have to also look at our 10.2 overview video, which goes into all of the features of this current patch, from world events that give you good gear to reputation rewards and more, right here. Click.